I'm Jack. I'm going to show you how to save time and stay top of mind with the Campaign Builder. The Campaign Builder in Keep takes over some of the manual processes that you spend valuable time on every day, such as sending a welcome email after meeting someone or delivering a lead magnet after a web form is filled out on your website. It will become the best assistant you ever had. It never takes a sick day, never goes on vacation, and does everything perfectly and on time. To access the Campaign Builder, click on the Campaign button from the left-hand navigation menu. At the top left of the page, you can toggle between My Campaigns and Explore Campaigns. My Campaigns are the campaigns or workflows that you have already configured. The Explore Campaigns button will show you a library of pre-created campaigns and workflows that you can open, configure, and launch for your own business processes. For this example, we will build our own campaign. After clicking Explore Campaigns on the right-hand side, click the Build Your Own button to get started. This will open a new campaign building window. The Campaign Builder prompts you to name your campaign and assign it to a category. On the left side, you will find the Campaign Tools. The top section is labeled Sequences and the section right below that is labeled Goals. You can drag these elements out and place them in the workspace. As an example, you can automate email follow-up when a contact fills out your web form or landing page. Web forms and landing pages are considered goals. All of the items in the Goals section are triggers for automation. In the Goals section, we have Web Form Submitted, Landing Page Submitted, Tag Applied, Email Link Clicked, Product Purchased, Quote Status, Web Page Automation, Task Completed, API Goal, and WordPress opt-in web form. An example of using a goal to start campaign automation would be adding the tag new prospect to a contact to trigger an automated email follow-up. The first step would be to drag out the tag applied goal into the workspace. When you double click the tag applied icon, a pop-up box appears prompting you to configure the tag. In this case, I have already created the new prospect tag so as I type in the word prospect, the tag will populate in the drop-down list and I can click it to apply it to this goal. If you have not created the tag you want to use yet, you can create a new tag by typing in the tag name and clicking the Create button. Click Save to assign the tag to the Tag Applied goal. You will notice that the Tag Applied element has turned green. This means that you have completed configuring this element. Now, any contact that receives the new prospect tag will start an automated process. You will now set up that process in another drag and drop element called a sequence. A sequence is a set of actions initiated by the automation trigger or goal. In this example, when we apply the tag new prospect to a contact record, a sequence will begin. To create a sequence, place a sequence element to the right of the tag applied goal. Then connect the two elements by hovering over the Tag Applied goal, left-clicking on the green arrow, and dragging the line to the sequence. Double-click on the text Untitled Sequence to edit the name of your sequence. To configure the sequence, double-click on the sequence element. You will be presented with a new workspace for this specific sequence with a start icon in the middle of the workspace. We drag the email element from the menu and drop it to the right of the start icon. You can click the text below the email element to change the name, then double click the email icon to configure. After completing your email, mark the email from draft to ready in the upper right hand corner. You will notice that the email element has turned green, indicating that configuration is complete. In this sequence, you can also add timers, tasks, apply or remove tags, apply notes, or assign the contact to someone in your system. Once your sequence is ready, you can mark the sequence from draft to ready in the upper right hand corner. You will notice that the sequence element has turned green and your campaign is now ready to publish. To publish your campaign, click the publish button in the upper right hand corner. Keep will run a check to ensure all elements are ready. If the checklist items are green, then click Publish to start your campaign. If there are any contacts in your contact list that had this tag prior to building the campaign, Keep will give you the choice to add them into the workflow. Now that you have created this campaign, 
Whenever you apply the new prospect tag to a contact, they will receive your automatic email follow-up.